Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this lecture, I'm going to teach you the redox stability at non-standard conditions. So you have already learned in the class the stability of the metal ions or the water at standard conditions. Standard condition mean when the concentration of the hydrogen, hydroxyl or the other metal ions are unit concentration. So today we will uh, discuss about the stability of the metal ions or the water at non-standard conditions. That means when there are the concentration other than the unit concentration. So let's start the lecture. So uh, here uh, you will also learn about the stability field of water. So this is the very simple diagram what I have mentioned here at the x-axis it is the pH, pH from 0 to 14 and on the y-axis it is the potential in a volt. So uh, this is the, the graph between the potential and the pH. So again uh, we are going to discuss the two half cells of water. One is the when there is the oxidation is going to occur and when there is another half cell which is going to reduce this. Uh, you have already learned that this half cell we should always consider at the anode because it is having the possibility to oxidize and this should be considered at the cathode because this has the possibility to reduce. So uh, this is all about the graph. In this, uh, the pH at pH is 0. This is the equation I am going to discuss in the later. Just uh, uh, let me finish this one graph. So by using this equation, if you put the value pH 0, then this whole becomes 0 and then E will be E0. That means it is the standard cell potential of the water, which is 1.23. So after this one, if you put the value of, let's suppose 4, 8, 12, and 14. If I put the value of 14, then you have to multiply by 14 with this factor. And minus E0 here is 1.23. If you minus this from 1.23, it will be equal to 0 0.403. So that's why the, uh, this half cell has the limit of potential from 1.23 to 4 0.403. Similarly, this half cell of potential has the limit from 0 to minus 0.833 volt. So this is a simple equation to how to calculate the potential by using the pH. Let's suppose again, when the pH is zero and then this whole factor becomes zero and then it is the as zero, the potential will be zero. So if you put the value of pH 14, then multiply by this one, it will be equal to minus 0.833 volt at pH 14. So actually this is the standard cell potential when the pH is 40 or now moving to the how the first in this lecture I am going to split into two lectures. First I am going to show how you can calculate the uh, uh, this equation by using the Nernst equation. So let's start with the this half cell of water. So Nernst equation, this is E is equal to naught minus 0 0.0591 over N log of the product divided by the reactant. So here is the product is water, reactant is hydrogen and uh, uh, oxygen. So this I have already explained you in the class. So just uh, because the water and oxygen are the molecular form having the 
the strength of one unit. That's why I'm going to skip this one out of the last equation and then uh, where it is represented by only the hydrogen ions. So just going to simplify this one when it is the one over hydrogen ion power four, then it is uh, it goes up, then it will be the minus log of hydrogen power four. This is just a mathematic formula. So when you you take the log of any power, so powers become before and then it will be the minus log hydrogen ion and four is here. So you can calculate uh, cancel the four multiply divide. These both are going to be canceled out and simply the equation will be E naught minus minus log of hydrogen ion concentration. And this is actually the pH will be equal to minus log of hydrogen ion concentration. And this all becomes the equal to pH. So E is equal to E naught minus 0 0.0591 pH. Or you can put the value of E naught standard cell potential of water, which is 1.23 and minus 0 0.0591 pH. And this is the final equation. So there is no need to remember all this step when you uh, calculate the cell potentials. So just remember this is one equation. You can put any of the pH value and get the value of the potential. This is very simple equation. You can calculate the potential at non-standard conditions. So that means at any concentration, you just calculate the potential by using this one equation. So let's suppose if the, the pH is seven in case of the neutral water. So just put the value of pH over here, seven, seven multiplied by 0 0.0591. And again, subtracting this one from 1.23, the value is 0.816. So the important is that pH seven, the potential of water is 0.816. So this is the standard cell potential. This is the non-standard cell potential. So th this is a, I'm going to teach today and then we will check what is going to influence on the redox stability. So let uh, move to the other half cell. This one, again, you just write down the nurse equation of this half cell and this is the the two electron and is two and then this is the product divided by the rectum and just the coefficient becomes the power again hydrogen and water are molecular form equal to the stem is taken as the unit so again to simplify this one log of any power power becomes before and then it will remain the same that means this and this is the same. So, so you can just cancel out this one because multiply and divide, these are going to be canceled out and the rest is, is this E is equal to E naught minus log of OH. So here OH is the minus log of OH will be equal to the POH. So I'm going to just, uh, Put the value over here e is equal to e naught minus 0 0.0591 minus pH. So minus multiply minus is the plus, and this will be the the equation. So if you because each time you have to calculate the pH, so I'm going to convert into the pH. So this is a simple formula: pH plus pH equal to 14, and then pH will be equal to uh, 14 minus sorry, POH will be equal to 14 minus pH. So just, and uh, you have to multiply each time with the 14 and the pH with this factor 0 0.0591. And just to open it, this one, the standard cell potential in this case is minus 0.833. And this is minus 0.83 plus 0.833 and Whole becomes equal to zero minus 0 0.0591 pH. So this is the final equation e is equal to minus 0 0.0591 pH. So these are the equation I have uh, mentioned 
at the start of the lecture. So in this way, you can calculate the equation. So again, there is no need to remember all these steps during the discussion of the stability, unless I will ask during the exam to prove this one equation, how it is coming from by using the Nast equation. So another simple, this is, this is the whole way to convert the Nernst equation to this very simple form. Let's suppose as pH seven again, at the non-standard condition, E will be equal to minus 0.419. Just um, you, here you put the value of seven, but seven multiplied by 0 0.0591, this will be equal to minus 0.419. This is another alternate way because in the books, uh, you will see some of the books are just using this one equation. And by using this one equation, again, they, there is the no difference between the, the final equation which I have uh, mentioned over here. So by using this equation, you can also write down the Nernst equation. And this will be the uh, Nernst equation by using this half cell. Here, the standard cell potential is zero. Again, this will be uh, as simplified before. This will be minus log of hydrogen will be the pH. These two are going to be canceled out and the final equation will be minus 0 0.0591 pH. So either uh, if you take as a reference hydrogen or if you uh, take this half cell of water, the final equation will be the same. So uh, this is just for your reference because we uh, already discussed the standard condition with these two half cells. So we will be keeping these two half cells to discuss the stability of the redox reactions in water or in other way you can say the stability of the water in the presence of the metal ions. So uh, this is all about the uh, the stability field of water. So this will be the actually the stability field of water. So any ions which uh, which are uh, having the potential between 1.23 and 0, they are going to exist in this field and they will be the stable. So, but it depends on the pH. So I'm talking at pH 0. If I am talking at pH 14, then the, this range will be the 0.403 minus 0.833. So all the metal ions which are uh, uh, going to exist in this field are stable and, and which are going to exist above and below this stability line are unstable in water. And you can say the water is unstable in the presence of these ions. So uh, in the next lecture, I'm going to discuss how uh, you can explain the stability of the metal ions at the non-standard conditions. Actually, this is very important to, to discuss the electrochemistry of the metal ions or the water at the non-standard condition, which, are, which is the, the real condition at the laboratory scale. So uh, see you in the next lecture. Right now, it is all about the stability field. Thank you very much.